Welcome to my Black Ops 4 Dark Ops Challenge Guide series. In this episode, I'll be covering a multiplayer Dark Ops challenge called Obtained. Now I'll read you the in-game description here first, and then we'll talk about how you really obtain it, no pun intended. So the game says to win a team deathmatch, free-for-all, heist, or search and destroy game, and then have the most EKIAs and the least deaths of all players in the game. So that itself doesn't sound too difficult at all. Even the worst of players can have a miraculous game with a lobby full of newbie boobies. However, if that description sounds a bit familiar to you, it's because it is. If we look under the Career Challenge tab and then go to Game Heroics, we can see a challenge called Superstar. And lo and behold, it has the exact same description as our Obtained Dark Ops challenge. Now I've had several people report to me on Twitter and on Reddit that they earned this Obtained Dark Ops challenge by doing exactly as it says, which is the Superstar challenge. I myself, on the other hand, couldn't get it to work like this. As you can see here, when I got my very first nuked out gameplay, I was 30-0 in free-for-all. Now obviously, I had the most kills and the least deaths in the entire lobby. And free-for-all was definitely listed on the Superstar challenge as one of the game modes to do this in. However, I was not given the obtained calling card. So the next rumor I heard is that this is actually the Dark Matter Dark Ops calling card. So once you earn Dark Matter, you'll unlock it. Again though, most people that I've spoken with who've unlocked Dark Matter already had the obtained Dark Ops calling card even before getting Dark Matter. So that led me to believe it was something else. Next up, I saw one person had said they got it completed upon getting diamond camo on a set of weapons. So I made it a priority to try just that. Looking at my options, I went with the LMG category since it only contains three weapons. Of course, the tactical rifles are in a similar situation, but it's much easier to use the LMGs for most people. Now it did take me a few hours of gameplay, but I finally managed to gold each of the three LMGs. During the actual gameplay of me getting Diamond, there was no Dark Ops Challenge Complete notification that popped up. Likewise, after the match, I checked the After Action report and again saw no obtained Dark Ops Challenge Complete. What I did earn was the Primary Expert Challenge, which is under the Career Challenge tab. However, immediately after this match where I got Diamond, I went straight to my Dark Ops calling cards, and lo and behold, it was now unlocked. So needless to say, this challenge is beyond bugged. They fixed the Blackout Dark Ops calling cards that were mucked up in the last patch, so I'm surprised this one hasn't been changed to reflect its true nature yet. But based on all my testing here, I'd have to conclude that to get this obtained Dark Ops challenge, you need to get Diamond on any weapon class. To be safe though, I'd go with the LMG category first, as that's what worked for me personally. And just in case this is actually glitched and it's supposed to be obtained Dark Matter, I'd try my hardest to Diamond a weapon class before they try and change it. Regardless, this one isn't very difficult. Even the worst player in the game can achieve Diamond or Dark Matter with enough time. If it's truly meant to be for Dark Matter, however, then it's going to be extremely time-consuming. 